Okay, here we go. Last one for solving equations, uh, quadratic equations. Okay, so here we go. We have 2x squared equal to 13x minus 15. In order to use our null factor law, we have to bring everything to one side of the equation and set it equal to 0. Minus 13x plus 15 equal to 0. Now, if you think you know how to do it right now, stop the podcast and solve it yourself. Take a moment, see if you can do that. Okay, pause. Oh, I'm waiting for you to pause. You should be back right about now. Okay, so if you ended up getting, for an answer, 3 over 2 and 5, then you're right. You should check it with your calculator, which I'll show later on the podcast. If you didn't, here's what we're going to do. If do you remember how to factor, I'm going to look at the factors of 2, which I know are 2 and 1, and the factors of 15, which are 3 and 5, and 15 and 1. And I'm going to look and see how I can do this. I'm trying to get negative 13. Well, if I look here, that's 10, and that's 3. Ooh, so if it was negative 3 and a negative 10, that would come together to get negative 13. I think I got the winning combination here. So I get 2x. And that 2x, I'm going to multiply that 2x, I need to multiply that one by 5. And the single x, I go back and I multiply that one by 3. Both of them are negative. If I multiply these two, I get a positive 15, and I equal to 0. Don't forget the equal to 0. So now i got two parts. Apply the null factor law. 2x minus 3 is 0. Or I could say uh, that x minus 5 is 0. I'm going to add the 3 and then divide by 2. This side I'm going to simply add 5. And so I know my answers are x equal to 5 and x equal to 3 halves. Now, our calculator will help us out a lot in this case, a couple ways. Let me show you the first way. I've already taken the case to enter the equation into the, into the calculator. And the equation I'm going to enter is this one here, okay? Not the top one. There is a way to do it with the top one, but I'm not going to get into that today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the graph. And one of the things that I can do is I can check my answers. If I go trace, I'm going to go trace 1.5, and if I've done it correctly, I should get my y value to be 0, which is correct. I can also try trace, hit 5, enter, and again, that's what I was hoping for. My answer is correct. That's good. I can see very clearly that that was the value I was looking for, my y value is 0, my x value is 5. Okay, that's one way. The other way to do it is by going second, trace, and we're going to go to 0 like we did before. Look, it's asking me for my left bound. Let's find this one here first. So my left bound, I'll pick 0. My right bound, I don't know, I'll pick, it looks, it's 1.5, so I'll pick 2. And I'll guess, it says guess at one. Enter. And there you can see the one answer is simply 1.5. Make sure you do your left bounds and your right bounds. Be careful. You're going to get like a left bound arrow here and a right bound kind of thing like that. And it says look in between the two. And the guess just starts the computer, the calculator going. I'll let you try the other one. And that is it for solving quadratic equations today.